Why, hello everyone, it's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager for McLean, and I'm about to lead you through today's banded strength and mobility class. So I'm recommending that you have a loop band and also a long band. We can put them both down on the floor as soon as we get started. We're gonna get started just standing. Uh, I encourage you to have a mat nearby because we are going to get down on the floor in a little bit. But for now, firmly plant both of your feet down on the floor. Roll your shoulders back away from your ears. Take a little bit of a squeeze of your glute, a little drive of your hips forward. Inhale, length through the crown of your head. Exhale, just stretch your fingers down towards the floor. We're decompressing our shoulders right here. Turn your hands, palms forward. And on your inhale, we're going to bring arms up and overhead. On your exhale, shoulders away from your ears and then arms down by your side. We're going to do the same thing two more times. Turn your hands, palms forward. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, arms down by your side. Once more, let's bring those arms up overhead. We'll keep them there this time. Palms forward. Thumbs lead as you inhale, your arms up overhead. Exhale, shoulders come away from your ears, right hand down to the floor, reach with your left fingers all the way to the right side of the room. Don't just reach with your fingers. Go ahead, sh shove, push your hip to the left as well. On your inhale, come on back through the center, right arm comes up overhead, left arm comes down by your side, shoulders away from your ears. Find that big reach from your right hand fingers to the left side of the room. Imagine that your shoulder blade is touching an imaginary wall and find that shift with your hips. Inhale, arms both come up overhead. Exhale, both arms relax down by your side. Another opportunity to simply decompress your shoulders, stretch your fingers down to the floor, take an inhale, shoulders come up back and down chest is lifted glutes are squeezed and driving forward bring your hands palms forward again inhale your arms up overhead right hand back down inhale find that big stretch left shoulder still pressing that imaginary wall maybe even a bigger shift of your hips bigger stretch into the side of the body inhale arms come up overhead exhale left hand comes down and one more time find that big reach and shift push your hips draw your low belly in inhale back up exhale arms down by your side Great work. Let's just keep warming up through those shoulders a little bit. So on your inhale, drawing your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together and then back down. Let's get four more. So we're going for a bit of a shrug without any sort of weights. Inhaling up, exhale, squeeze and lower. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze and lower. Last two. Final one. Awesome, shake it out just a little bit. Get a little weird here and I want you to just move your arms. We're gonna give ourselves a really big hug. So arms open nice and wide and then one arm crosses over the other. You can even try and walk your fingers back. Give yourself a big hug. Open your arms nice and wide. Walk. Give yourself the hug and walk your fingers back. You might remember this winner from back in the day in middle school when you would pretend like you were snogging with someone in the corner of the room. And I encourage you to still have some fun with that later. But for now, one more time, give yourself a big hug in one direction. Open your arms really nice and wide and find that big hug in the opposite direction. Great. Grab hold of your amazing strap and start to create a little tension on your strap. So shoulders relax down away from your ears. You have a slight bend in your knees so we're not jamming those legs back. Lots of weight in your heel, taking that gentle tuck under of the pelvis, and we're gonna find a little tension in our band. Inhale, your hands up to, sorry, chest height, palms facing down towards the floor, shoulders still roll down and back, low belly pulled in, one more big inhale. As you open those weights nice and wide and exhale, release. Let's keep going. Inhale, find a big stretch, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, relax. We're going to keep this up for 30 more seconds, going at your own pace. 
and you just want to make sure there's still a little tension in the strap as you come back to center. We don't want things to be all loosey-goosey. We're keeping that constant little bit of tension. My hands are gently wider than the shoulders and then opening as wide as they can. And as you see, there's a lot more room on this strap if I needed for things to be less tense. I can always walk my hands out a little bit wider, start with slightly wider hands, and just find that activation in your upper back and shoulders that works for you today. Remember, every day is different. You're doing the best with the body that you have today. We got just one more here. Awesome. Relax your arms down. Still keeping hands wide. We're going to stick with the shoulder mobility. So inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, bring those arms down behind you. You might not be able to get the full range of motion. Enjoy what you can. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Just move in with your breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms back. Inhale, arms up. So I'm going for about a four count up, four count slowly down to the front. You still have a slight bend in your knees here, just not locking your knees out one more time in both directions. Awesome. Take a moment, shake it out. We're going to find our, um, oh my God, our banded pull aparts one more time for one more minute. So shoulders roll down and back. Go ahead, bring your straps, your bands to chest height, palms facing down towards the floor. Gentle engagement of that low belly, a little pelvis tuck. We're going to exhale, find that big squeeze. Inhale, gently bring it back in. Exhale out. Inhale in. So just like before, I'm still moving nice and slow. Maybe not a full four seconds, but I'm not in a rush here. I'm working to really engage that upper back and then gently bring it back in. We got a couple more to go. This is going to be our last time for these banded pull-aparts. Can you give me one more? Awesome. Relax your arms down. And let's actually, we can stay standing, or if you want to, you can come on down to the floor. I'm going to get a little bit lower just to make sure you can see me. You don't need to stand up for this next one. You can even sit down. We're going to get some cow face arms. So just bring in a little bit more. Front. I'm going to turn around so you can actually see what I'm doing. You're welcome to use the band. You do not have to. Right hand is going to come by your low back. Palms facing out, fingers against your back. Inhale that left arm high to the sky and then bend at your elbow. So the palm of the left hand is on your shoulder. I'm sorry, is on your upper back facing in and the palm of your right hand is facing out. You're going to walk, wiggle your fingers closer towards each other and maybe they touch. If they don't touch, you're welcome to use your strap and to walk your hands up your strap. Eventually in the future, our goal is for our elbows to be stacked directly on top of each other. You can get a nice little stretch into your tricep here as well. Press the back of your head onto your forearm. So try not to let your head uh, be pressed down towards the floor. You're opening your chest, you're squeezing your shoulder blades, you're finding that big lift. Take one more deep inhale and exhale release. One hand at a time, right hand comes down, left hand comes down. Just take a moment in your breath. Let's go ahead and get the other side. This time, right arm reaches up high to the sky, bending your right elbow, palm comes towards your upper back, 
touching on your back. The left hand comes behind you, bending at the elbow, backs of your fingers at your low back, and you can walk, wiggle your fingers up. It's normal if your arms are really out wide to the side. Remember, you can use the strap if you want to. You're just doing your best. Take that over arch out of your back. So draw your low belly in, whether you're kneeling or standing, and take a few breaths here in your cow face pose. So making sure you're breathing, that's really where flexibility and that mobility gets uh, to stick within our bodies. If we're doing all these stretches and we're not breathing, then our body's caught in that fight or flight mode. If you can relax and take your breath, you overcome the body's desire to just tense up and not let anything happen. Take one more big inhale and exhale, gently release left hand down to the floor right arm down to the floor, inhale your shoulders all the way up, exhale, open mouth, sigh, relax them down, twice more, a big inhale, shoulders draw all the way up, exhale, open mouth, sigh, last one, inhale, draw those shoulders up, squeeze shoulder blades together and back, and then exhale, let it all out. Fantastic. Next up, we're going to use our band. We've got a little bit of a prisoner's row. So for this one, starting with your elbows by your side, we're going to stick our hands into the band and you're going to apply some pressure. So before I apply some pressure, you can see that my hands and my elbows are not quite in line with each other. My hands are coming into the center. Shoulders rolled down and back, low belly pulled in, no overarching of your back. Apply that pressure right here. We're already starting to work that upper body. We're going to reach forward and then exhale elbows are going to graze by your side squeeze your shoulder blades together for a row inhale forward exhale squeeze inhale forward Exhale, squeeze. Check in with your hands. I know that they want to decrease that tension and come towards each other, but you're doing your best to keep your hands, palms wide, in line with your elbows. We've got about 15 seconds left. You're doing fantastic. Keep up this great work. Keep up that breath. Do you feel those shoulders getting nice and warm for three, two, Slowly bring it all the way back in and then relax your arms down. Shake it out for just a second. Let's actually paint our hands down our thighs and give yourself some cat cow right here. Rounding your back, looking towards your knees, towards your toes, and then arching your back. So from the side, I just have my hands on my thighs to help find a little bit of cat. If hands on your thighs feels really challenging for the cat cow and you have a chair nearby and you can place your hands on the chair for just a little standing mobility here. Let's get one more nice little slow cat. Slow cow. Weight in your heels, knees bend, roll yourself all the way up, stack your shoulders over your hips, over your heels. Fingers stretched down to the floor, decompressing your shoulders for one more big inhale. Exhale, shake it out, let it go. Let's find those prisoner rows one more time. We'll get some great extra stretches for mobility into our upper body and hit the floor. Shoulders roll down and back, that slight bend in your knees, little tuck under of your pelvis. Find that pressure of your hands nice and wide and go forward nice and slow. Really reach like Frankenstein and then elbows graze by your side, shoulder blades squeeze. And make sure you're not holding your breath. Beautiful work, almost there. Let's get our last 10 seconds of this exercise for today.
Can you give me one more row? Awesome. Relax your arms down. Take your hands out of your strap. Put that band on the floor. Turn your hands, palms forward. Open your chest. Squeeze shoulder blades together. And one more time. Inhale your arms all the way up overhead. Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, relax. Arms down by your side. Two more breaths here. You can bend your knees if you want. Inhale, arms up overhead. Find that big stretch. Exhale, arms by your side. One more. We're going to hit the floor this time. So bend your knees if you want. Inhale, arms up overhead. Arms stay up overhead. Draw your low belly in and exhale. We're going to rain or swan dive down to the floor. Knees can bend, but can you come down with a flat back? Fingers reach towards the floor and then inhale into a half lift. Hands come to your shins or your knees. Nice flat back. Exhale down to your forward fold. Belly touching on your thighs to protect your back. So as generous of a bending your knees as you want or need for your belly to be touching on your thighs right here. And while this is happening, you can grab hold of your opposite elbow. You can wrap your arms around your legs. If you can touch the floor, great. Hands can just dangle. Feet stay firmly planted, and we're bending one knee and then the other, starting to bring some mobility into your hips. Go ahead, create some stillness here, and shift weight forward into your toes. As your legs straighten and your hips stretch up towards the sky, more of a stretch into your hamstrings. On your next inhale, come back to that half lift. Exhale, forward fold all the way down towards the floor. And then we're going to bring our knees on to the mat. Great. Knees down on the mat. Hands, palms underneath of your chest, shoulders. Spread your fingers really nice and wide. Let's come on back to some cat cow here. Feel free to shake or shimmy your cat or your cow's tail a little bit to get that movement that your body really needs for today. And then we're going to walk our hands forward, pass through neutral tabletop, hands come forward about an extra foot, and we're going to shift our hips forward, pelvis down towards the floor. Shoulders draw away from your ears. Shoulder blades squeeze in towards each other. Look up towards the ceiling for a nice big stretch on your low belly as well. And on your exhale, we're going to send glutes back to heels. Take a quick child's pose. Head relaxes down to the floor, relieving all that tension. If you need more of a stretch in your shoulders, you can bend your elbows generously or even reach your hands all the way back towards your feet for a little separation of your shoulder blades. Awesome. Last two or three breaths here. Really take that tension out of your upper back. Sink into the mat a little bit more. And then if your hands were behind you towards your feet, drag your fingers forward back underneath of your chest. And we're going to lay down on the floor. Laying down on the floor. Make sure that your band is nearby. Let's stretch out through the shoulders and then we'll get a quick tricep move from down here on our mats. Left hand extends out to the side, palm facing down to the floor, hand palm in line with your shoulder. Right hand comes close by your chest like you're about to do a push-up. And at the moment, my mouth is kissing down towards the mat. Mwah! So proud of myself for showing up for me, and I hope you feel the same. Go ahead, bend your right leg, sole the right foot up towards the ceiling, and we're going to press into the right hand as we roll to the left side, and your right toes touch down to the floor. Right toes can touch down, knee can bend, toe can touch close to your ankle, or for a bigger stretch, you can try and bring your right 
foot to even touch your left hand. You can clamshell your legs open for a deeper stretch. And if you want to feel even more in your upper back body, walk your right hand out into a T. So both arms are reaching in opposite directions. If this ends up being too much of a stretch into your hip, instead of having your legs clamshelled open, you can bring your thighs back together and you can just focus on extending your arms in two opposite directions to bring that big stretch into your upper body. We're gonna relax here for a few breaths. So if your temple, if your ear, if the side of your head isn't touching the floor, carefully relax it down, shoulders away from your ears, come back to your breath, enjoy some stillness wherever you are. Pardon me, I have a terrible itch and I shall scratch it instead of enjoying my stillness. Nice work. If you walk your right hand out away from you, slowly walk, wiggle that right hand back into your push-up position. We're going to roll over onto our bellies and then right leg extends long to meet with the left. Let's switch our arms out. Right arm extends long to the side, palm facing down towards the floor and left hand comes in close to your center line. Left leg bend, so the left foot up towards the ceiling. And then roll over onto your right side. For bring your right ear to the floor and left hand can stay right where it is. You have the same two options, just touching your toe down or trying to create that deeper stretch, bringing your toe closer to your hand. Remember, legs can come together for a little ease or for that extra stretch in your back, walk your left hand all the way out and away. Great. Check out if your shoulders are really creeping up towards your ears and can you create some length in the crown of your head? Can you draw your shoulders down and get your lats, that big muscle running down your back? So pull towards your hips. Find one spot to relax your eyes. We've got a couple breaths left here to go. Breathing in your stillness, in your stretch. Great, working our way out opposite the way you went in, walking your left hand back to your chest for some support, and then rolling over onto your belly. Left leg is going to extend long to meet with your right. And from here, we're gonna get some tricep work. So grab hold of your band, and we're gonna band up our hands behind our back. Palms can be facing the ceiling. They can be facing towards each other. Your mouth can kiss down to the mat towel. Squeeze your glutes, press your pelvis into the mat, and feel your posterior chain engage. So your kneecaps are going to lift up off the floor. Shoulders roll down away from your ears. And we're just going to pulse those hands out for 10. Nine, two pulses each. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Bring one hand out of your strap. Turn your ear to your mat towel. I have to take my glasses off so I can relax, release my temple down towards the floor. Really breathe into your open back, into your open shoulders. We're going to get that tricep pump and press one more time. So turn your eye gaze mouth back down towards your towel, bring your hands into your straps. Shoulders roll down away from your ears, squeeze your glutes, press your pelvis into the floor, posterior chain is engaged, and here we go. 10, pulse, nine, pulse, eight. You can even reach your fingers closer towards your heels, get a little bit more back work for six, pulse, five, four, three, two, 
one, lower yourself down, release your hands from your straps, opposite ear comes to the towel, simply breathe. Great. Bring your strap with you. We're going to press ourselves up, come into kneeling, and from there we'll get our triceps one more time before we take one big stretch, opening our chest, getting a nice back bend in as well in some camel. First, though, 